County School District held another Let's Talk series for parents and teachers that focuses on various topics. Nikita Dennis is live in the Satellite News Center with the details. Nikita. Dee, this is a series hosted by the Columbia County School District each month. This time, it's tackling gang violence and drug use in schools. Parents and local residents had the opportunity to hear from representatives in the Columbia County legal system on ways to prevent gang violence and drug use in schools. Todd Hughes, who is the assistant district attorney in Columbia County, says that kids can be brought into gangs at an early age. I have seen basically flyers left at elementary schools about meetings related to gang development. It is sinister that these older gang members, and by older, they typically are 18 and into their 20s. According to the Columbia County School District Police, there are 100 gangs across the CSRA, with over 40 of them believed to be active. Local officials say social media can play a part in this. Even though we train them and teach them within our homes, it's so much outside influence now that influences them, which leads into gang connectability through social media. That's a great gateway and an easy gateway for these older individuals to manipulate these young minds. Brown also says it's important to look out for signs when talking to your kids at home. Terrorist threats made by children at school is also a sign to look out for. As mentioned, a terrorist threat where an individual put out, I don't feel like going to school tomorrow, I feel like blowing up the school. That's all it takes. And someone on that other end takes that, takes a screenshot of it, shows it to a parent, brings it to a school. The school has a responsibility to act upon that. It can't be, it can't be written off as a kid that was just frustrated. It can't be just written off as something we don't have to worry about because we've never had any trouble out of this child. No, we need to make sure there's not an actual live threat going on. They also say it's important to have constant communication with your kids. Live in the Satellite News Center, Nikita Dennis, WJBF News Channel 6.